There's no winning with you, is there? You said stop using uh, turrets inside, uh, so uh, I did. I moved on to something else. Man. Yeah! You moved on to planting landmines! This inside! That's... that's the part I have a problem with, Aiden! The inside part! What am I meant to do, Jake? I'm only one man. I can't watch every door. Besides, I was just testing them. I had Teresa disable the charge in each mine. None of them would have exploded. Hey, don't drag me into your little squabble. Okay, you want to beef up security around here. I get it. But are mines really the way to do that? <clears throat> oh, there you are. We were just, uh, waiting for Mansfield. What are you talking about? Oh, same old. Mostly just disagreements on how we should go about doing things. Who are these people? I asked a few folks from Concord to escort Mallet down here. After that, they decided to stick around. Help us out for a while. Is he here yet? No, not yet. So you did tell him where he'd be working, right? Like he knows to come to the plaza. Hello? H hello? Ah, that must be him now. Hey! Over here! We'd better move out. Good luck. Thank you for your help. A safe journey back to the vault. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you all. I'm Mansfield, former deputy overseer of Vault 81. Yeah, we know. Oh, right. Of course. Um... Are you all right? You seem kind of tense. Oh, it's just being outside the vault is all still rather uh, new to me. It's quite overwhelming. But I'm sure I'll get used to it in time. For now, I suppose I should start getting settled into my new position here. So, where might I find my office? Welcome to the team, Mansfield. I'm Jake. If you want an office, there's a few rooms up top you might like. Feel free to help yourself. Up top? You mean, in here? Surely you can't be serious. This place is piled high with trash. It's dilapidated. It's literally dripping with filth. Well, uh, yeah. That's why we asked you to come work with us. We need your expertise to clear this place out. Help get everything tidy and organized. Oh, Cedric. What have you gotten yourself into? Relax. It's gonna be fine. Hmm. That's what Dr. Forsyth would always say before an invasive medical exam. <sighs> and thus begins my exciting new career, teaching sanitation. Very well. If you need this facility cleared of all this garbage, pay attention. I shall demonstrate some of the basics. All right. Go ahead. Now, watch carefully. Ahem. You there. Yeah? Congratulations. You're a janitor. Grab a broom and get cleaning. Oh, okay. There. You see? That wasn't so hard, was it? You have a real low opinion of Wastelanders, don't you? Believe it or not, most of us know how to clean. The state of our current surroundings would beg to differ. How'd you even allow things to deteriorate this badly? Who's the head of facilities? Uh, we don't have one. In fact, we don't really have no heads of anything. No department heads? No wonder you're in such disarray. You can't expect to run a facility without clear, predefined roles. So, what now? Uh, if we're gonna start assigning roles, I'm taking charge of security. Hey, if Aiden gets security, then I'm calling head of engineering. Slow down. It's not a competition. Assuming you're both qualified for those positions, that should be fine. Since you've no head of facilities, I'll fulfill that role. Now, usually in a vault, department heads answer directly to an overseer. Which I suppose in this case would be you, yes? I'm the one in charge here. Well then, we'll be relying on you to direct each department as you see fit.
Let's do this. Yes. Well, please, proceed at your leisure. Hey, Chief. If it's okay with you, I'm gonna go find us a proper meeting room. I mean, this atrium's nice and all, but I prefer someplace less drafty and with better seating. Come on, kid. You're helping. I am? Oh, um, okay. Currently on route to oh, location.
Greetings, sir or madam. Anti-social behavior will not be tolerated. Long time no see.
Warning. Overdue for maintenance. Citizen.
Hey there. Oh, hey! Um, we've a bit of a problem. What's the problem? Our building supplies. We use them all up. We can't do no more projects. I'm surprised you didn't have more materials on hand. Has there been some sort of disruption to our supply chain? Oh, let me guess. We don't have a supply chain. Nope. <sighs> then I suppose we'll have to start setting some up, won't we? Hmm. Jake explained you own and operate a number of settlements. Perhaps we could take the supplies we need from one of them. Whoa, whoa, hold on. You can't just take people's stuff like that. Why not? Why not? Look, I don't know how stuff works in a vault, but up here, people have independence, and they work hard for what they got. If we go demanding what's theirs, then we're no better than the gunners in my book. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. Yeah, what she said. So what do you propose we do instead? Well, instead of just taking from people, why not just ask them to donate what they got spare? Providing we ask nicely. I bet most people helped by ASAMs would be happy to send us what they can. If we're putting it to a vote, I vote for the Ask Nicely plan? I have my doubts. But you know the people of the Commonwealth better than I. If you think asking nicely would work, then go ahead. I shall await the bountiful inflow of supplies with bated breath. What's the plan? Well, guess we should go find someone to ask about supplies. Hey, you know who we should talk to? Stodge and the others. I bet they'd be willing to send some supplies and materials our way. I'd be glad to talk to him. All right. I'll meet you there. If you can get the supplies, I'll make sure they're all organized and stored properly. That way, we can use them as soon as they arrive. I should get back to work. Hope everything goes well at the settlement. How you doing? So, Teresa tells us you need some supplies for your new headquarters, build materials and so on. What have you got in the way of supplies? Thanks to the ASAMs, we got plenty of stuff to spare. Building materials, food, water. We can even spare a few caps if we need them. Anything you can do to help us? You helped us out when we needed it most. Time to return the favor. We'll gladly share what we can. See? I told you they'd help. Guess all that's left now is to set up a supply line. Hey, you think maybe that's something the ASAMs could build? You know, the infrastructure and stuff. I guess we'll find out. I guess so. I'm gonna head back to the HQ. I'll see you there.
we moved out of that stinky cave. Maybe I'll take Katie on a trip soon. Show her the coast or Diamond City. Way better than the cave.
about that local sports team. Did you see the game last week? Forget about cleaning up. With supply caravans coming and going, we need more people on security. Everyone needs more people. But we ain't got enough to go around. Maybe we need to reassign some personnel. Move around what we already have. That would still leave some departments shorthanded. Well, I don't know how anyone expects me to do anything with the number of people I have. Forget about cleaning up. With supply oh, hey. caravans Welcome coming back. and going, we need more people on security. What was that argument about? Seems we've not got enough people to cover each department's needs. So everyone's fighting again. <clears throat> this is an interesting room. Ah, you like it? I found it when I was looking for a good meeting room. It had plenty of space, came with a big table. Besides a working coffee machine, I mean, what else could we want? What do we need to do to fix this? That's the question, ain't it? Look, I got an idea on how to fix this personnel shortage, but it's something I'm gonna have to run past you first. All right, let's hear it. What's on your mind? It's a solution similar to our supply shortage problem. Simply put, we ask people from settlements to come work at the HQ. I can't imagine many if any, would turn us down. Huh. That's a good idea. After all, we got plenty of talented folks living in our settlements. But if we did start bringing in more people, we'd need someone to take charge of them all. Otherwise, it would just be chaos. Ugh, fine. If it stops you knuckleheads from bickering, I'll do it. I'll take charge of personnel. It's a very big responsibility. Yeah, I know that. But I already got some experience in the whole people management area. You don't gotta worry about me. I'll make sure everyone you send here does their job the best they can. Sounds good. You just leave it to me. All right, problem solved. Next time you need a settlement, scout out potential talent and send them our way. For now, let's get back to work, everyone. We still got a lot to do. Hey, darling, if you got a moment, come talk to me in the comrade room. Uh, 
Eyes open, friend. Always. Settlement's getting kind of busy. Yes. Keep your ears to the ground. Start to look down their noses at facilities until the toilet backs up. Then it's all smiles and compliments. to do more than this. Hey, I want to talk. Just not here. Meet me in the comrade room. Alright, uh, uh, with the tutorial done, I think I'm just going to show that much for the how to HQ quest. Um, I don't feel a lot. I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to recruit 15 settlers to the headquarters. But like, th th this video is already like 47 minutes long, so I'm going to cut right here. If I... Uh, once I start feel like uh, doing more headquarters stuff, I'll show it late. Uh, I'm pretty much gonna start doing the water under the bridge quest after this video.